What's going on guys, Jay here with another epic video. Today guys, I'm going to go in through and breaking down my X-Saber profile. This will be more of a uh, competitive play. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. It's, you know, the deck can only do so much with it. Uh, I was hoping it was going to win, probably like most of you guys that are, you know, that are fans or love the deck. I would love to see it, you know, make a, you know, really, you know, stunning return. I was hoping it was going to win the Creative Card Contest. Unfortunately, it didn't. Uh, but I'm going to go through, guys. It's been a pretty good deck. If you've seen me use it in the live streams, I've been able to pull off some pretty epic stuff, even in the ranked matches, using this deck. Uh, so stick, to, you know, make sure you guys stick to the video, watch it, see what you guys' thoughts are. I'll also do another video like I normally do, going through some test hands with it so I can explain more going through the combos and things like that that I normally do so you guys can see how more of the mechanics works or you're also welcome to, you know, tune into any of the live streams that I do on Sunday and Monday where I use the deck uh, in the ranked matches or I use it with me and Pat play as well from time to time. Uh, it's a very fun deck, guys. It's it's very, very fun. Uh, like I said, I was hoping that hopefully they'll still decide maybe to make some new cards for the deck, whether it's monster spells or you know, links or synchro, whatever they make for the deck would definitely be appreciated. Well, that being said, guys, if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you guys get subscribed to the channel. Remember, we're still doing the 100 sub giveaway. So if you want to make sure you want to be a part of uh, in that giveaway, make sure you go back and watch my Gladiator Beast deck profile. And I go through that video, how you, how you guys can go through and enter. So make sure you guys watch that video because that's the one I'm going to pull the comments from. Some of you guys have uh, forgot to comment on the video, so make sure you guys, if you didn't comment on the video, you go back and comment on the video, because what's going to happen tomorrow being Friday when I go to do the 100 sub giveaway when I do the Pendulum video that I'll release for you guys tomorrow, I'm going to go through and run the comments on my Gladiator Beast deck profile video, and that random comment picker is going to pick which one of you guys are going to win. So if you guys haven't had a chance to watch that video, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you guys get subscribed. And after you get done watching this video, I'll link it on the upper right in the uh, YouTube card so you guys will be able to watch. You can just click on it after the end of this video, and you can watch that video if you haven't had a chance to watch that video yet. Oh, uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, we'll go ahead and dive in, but just kind of keep this up. Uh, you know, it's more of a competitive uh, deck, what I went for this one, so we are kind of, you know, limited by the band list. So keep that in mind. I'll make some suggestions towards the end about the... Uh, if you're just playing casual, so if you guys want to stick towards that, uh, I'll go over a little stuff towards the end. So I want to use three. We use three rescue cat guys for you know pretty much for obvious reasons that allows us to kind of help combo off and speed up the deck. Rescue cat's very useful. I've got some other combos that can kind of flow naturally with it too, but mostly we use it to pull out like the dark soul and arabellum combos. I use three false rollers guys. Uh, these are the ones basically they're kind of like the Kind of like the Great Shogun, like that's how the Great Shogun are for the, the Six Samurai in a sense. Because you have to have at least two or more uh, X-Saber monsters for you to be able to special summon him. Uh, but he lets you bring back your X-Sabers, guys, so he's the main part to the deck. So you definitely want to get him as soon as possible. Uh, we use three, uh, Belogard Knight, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he lets you, when you, when you summon guys, you can special summon one from your hand. Uh, X Saber, so he's really good helping getting that second one out, so you can play the false roller that we were just looking at. So it's a really good combo piece to have. I use three Dark Souls. Most of you guys are probably familiar by now. Uh, they changed the ruling with this card, so it's not as many times as Dark Soul hits the graveyard, and you get to pull that many uh, X Saber monsters at the end of their turn to your hand. Uh, it has to be; it's it's only one for each card. So that's the reason we're using three, so we can hit, you know, up to we can pull up to three cards during the end of our turn. X Saber monsters from our deck to our hands. So when we go next turn, right? We've got a, you know, we've got some good extra combo pieces if we need them, and, and we're also thinning out the deck at the same time. I uh, use three Arabellums, guys. You know, definitely have to use three. Same for the Dark Souls that you definitely need at three. Uh, he's the tuner of the deck. He's the only tuner I have in this specific build. I didn't use any of the other. Uh, tuners because the way that I've got it built it didn't it just doesn't flow well and I usually it end up uh it would end up messing up combo plays you guys when I do the test hand you'll probably see it come out as to why I have it uh this way and I took out uh some of the other tuners for the deck that I did have in here originally and then we got Xaber uh, Regalia I think that's how you pronounce his name he's one of the main combo pieces that you need uh for this deck guys because he's the one when he's when he's normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one of your Gladiator Beast cards from your uh, graveyard to your hand, and you're always going to pull back the uh, False Roller. And that's how you just kind of do the infinite loop with this deck as far as 
pulling them back, replaying him. And then he's not a once per turn for his effect to special summon, so once I add him back with that, I can reuse his effect to special summon another one from the graveyard and just kind of keep doing an infinite cycle until I get rid of, you know, all my opponent's cards in their hands, basically. So that's how you would kind of do the hand loop strategy. Uh, you guys will see it when I do the test stand, so if you guys are, you know, definitely interested in that, make sure you guys stick for that. I'll I'll put that video after the after this one, guys. I'll put it out later in the day. Uh, but yep, yep. And yet again, I just want to appreciate you guys. I do appreciate all the love and support and all the positive comments you guys have left and the feedback and videos that you guys would like to see here on the channel. I greatly do appreciate that. It's I, Yet again, I can't believe we're already at 100 subs. Um, I try the best I do to put out videos daily for you guys, and I try my best you know, to break down uh, strategy tips and why the decisions I make and why I'm doing certain stuff. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. So far, I've gotten uh, a lot of good positive feedback about that. Uh, the first spell card guys we use in here, so we're going into the spells next, is we use five for, uh, uh, Fire Formation of the Tingi. We use three of them, right? I can pull my, uh, basically my Beast Warriors to my hand, any one that I need. So if I need to pull Regalia to my hand, or if I need to pull uh, Bogart Knight to my hand, you're going to pull one of these two. And both of them are really good cards to pull off of that. So you're going to pull one of those two off of that, just to kind of show that real quick. I use the Transmodify, guys. I use three of them in here. They're really good because if you draw this and the, several other combo cards that I've got in here, spell and monster card-wise, it works very well kind of going into Rescue Cat and a few other things. So it's easier to get out Rescue Cat from the deck. And it kind of gives me an extra move, too, if I haven't, if maybe I normal summon something else and then I can get rid of you know, Dark Soul or whatever, so then use this Dark Soul, and then bring out Rescue Cat, then use Rescue Cat's effect. So, uh, I'll go over more of that more in the combo portion, but I just wanted to kind of explain that real quick. I use three Dark World Dealings go uh, cards, guys, because the deck's, you know, as, as you probably could imagine, it's kind of a slow deck, especially with it being more of an old-school deck. So anything that can speed up the deck, we definitely want. And plus, it helps get stuff in the graveyard, because remember, that's really how this deck works, is putting stuff in the graveyard as fast as you can, and really just cy cycling with Regalia and False Roller to do your loops on the field. So it's very important that we get those cards in the graveyard uh, as soon as possible so we can go through and loop them. So that's why I have three of these. And that we can get rid of any cards in our hand that we may have, you know, double copies or something we don't, you know, we don't need, right? We can get rid of them as well. I use the Saber Slash, guys, for obvious reasons. Uh, so we can just, you know, usually it's helped me out a lot, especially in the ranked matches that I do on uh, Play and Link Evolution when you get on the live streams. I usually get rid of monster cards I, I just can't overpower attack-wise, or I get rid of some sort of, like, spell or you know, monster card on the field that's that's hurting me from, you know, going into trying to do our combos and moves with this deck. I do use One Day of, P one day, uh, one day of Peace, guys. It helps, you know, we, it allows us to draw a card, plus it gives us an extra turn. With us yet again being a slower deck, it's, it's very helpful for us. Uh, just to making sure you know we're good to go. I also use one up start goblin as well, just to help draw cards. Like I said, anything we can do to speed up the deck, it really helps us out a lot with this deck. Uh, I use one monster reborn guys, one world legacy succession, one reason. And reason really is really good for this card guys. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it's you can only play one of them, but it's really good because you can keep tossing cards until you hit a monster card that has to be special summon. So I love playing this and hitting Fault Roller because Fault Roller goes to the graveyard, then you'll hit something else. So you've already got one of your Fault Roller in the graveyard, which is part of your combo. Uh, so yeah, it's fantastic. I did use one Air's Rock Sunrise so we can bring back our, you know, some of our cards to kind of help cycle and combo off of, or if they get negated or destroyed, that's helped out a lot. One Foolish to help get rid of you know the missing piece of the combo that we need in the graveyard, guys. So Foolish Bro, it helps out a lot in this deck. I do use also three monster gates, guys. These really help out the deck a lot of tossing cards uh, to the deck. Because really, right, the spell cards in the deck, there's no spell card specifically that we need that would, you know, that's going to be de detrimental if we lose. It's, you know, discarded by reasoning or monster gate. So it's a really good card for this deck. I really love it. Uh, it helps go into some of your combo pieces. You guys will see when I do the test hands. And I do use... Uh, one, uh, one for one. <laughs> uh, it's really good going into combo pieces because if you use it with Regalia, right, you can discard Regalia to the graveyard, special summon another Regalia from your uh, from the deck. So then you've got that, and then you're going to pull the one from your graveyard. So now you've got uh, so now you've got two of them essentially, and you didn't lose the card; you just discarded. So you don't have to pay anything for discarding. 
if you end up, well, even if you don't, you can always just add back the card. Even if it's the first card you play, you can add the card you discard back after he's special summoned just because of his effect. So that card works really, that work, card works wonders in here, guys. Alright, so that's the monsters, that's the spell, guys. So next we're on to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, I do use two uh, Gotham's. Uh, like I mentioned before, I don't have... Uh, I ordered the other one, guys, just like we mentioned in the live stream. Unfortunately, it never showed up with shipping, and I just was done hassling over it. So it's like, I just, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. So I apologize for having to use the, the proxy, but, but that's that's why, as I explained in other videos. Uh, but this is the card that allows you guys to do the hand, kind of the hand loop in your discarding cards. Uh, I'll put it up here so you guys can read his effect. But it basically, so once, uh, you can tribute one X-Saber monster to discard one card from your opponent's hand. You can also tribute him, guys. You can tribute him and discard a card. You ideally don't want to do that, usually, of course. It's very rare, maybe rare exceptions, but usually you don't want to do that. Use him as like as a last resort to get rid of him. Usually you don't. I've seen some people do it, but it's probably highly unlikely. Unless you know, you know that you, know, you already have the card in your opponent's hand, maybe because they added it back or something, and you know you have to get rid of it. You know, there are, of course, exceptions, of course, always to the rule. Moving them down so you guys can... There we go. So the glare is not as bad. Uh, I do use one of the Saber... Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, but she's really good, though. She can destroy up to uh, three, three spell and trap cards in the field, guys. So she helps out really a lot for us uh, going through and being able to get rid of back row cards. And also helps us to do other loops that you'll see me do when I do the test hands and stuff like that. I do use one Black Rose Dragon because, yet again, this is a little bit slower deck, so sometimes they may have a board that we can't get over, whether it's attack or effect-wise. Just to It's easy for us to blow up the board, right? So that's why I put that in here, guys, is just kind of to reset the field, basically, long story short. I do use one Borlo. We play a good bit of Link Monsters, too, and he's a good negate, plus it gives him you know, a good bit of attack. And also Berserker of the, the Tinky as well, pretty much for you know pretty much for the exact same reason. And I use two M7s, guys, to go through and cycle. These help with cycling, like the uh, false rollers uh, and hers. So just kind of cycling them and just being able to replay false roller, or maybe you're not going to use that loop. I'll explain that more later on. Uh, and I'd use another proxy. Again, I apologize, guys, I couldn't find my relinquished uh, anima. But you would want to use one of these. It's a very good uh, link monster, right? If they have one in the zones, you can just take their monster and, you know, get that attack. Uh, and you could link off to something else or just use it to maybe clash into something else of theirs to attack or whatever it may be. Or link off of yet again to something else. Uh, we do use one Union Carrier, guys. It does help pull some of the cards that we're missing out of the deck to kind of help speed it up. So I do use Union Carrier for that specific reason. We do use one uh, Link Karibo, another very good card in this deck since we do play the ones consistently throughout the deck. So it does help out a lot and it does help do a lot of good combo plays with the, the deck as well. I do use one Needle Fiber, guys. It does help speed up the deck uh, as far as pulling things out and being able to do some combos. Uh, you'll probably see me do them in the test hands as well, more than likely. Another really, really good card that helps out this deck a lot is Curious of the uh, Light Swarm. Uh, she helps speeds up the deck a lot, guys, right, because we get to toss a card, then she'll toss three cards because her effect will activate off of that. So you can toss one of the missing pieces that you needed to get full combo. And then on top of that, she's going to toss three more cards. So you may even hit rest of the combo that you need so you have full combo with the deck. So she helps out a lot. The quicker you usually can get her out, the better. And then we use one Saruja to help speed up the deck again. Because like I said, anything you can do to speed up the deck would helps out a lot. So he helps a lot really going into her. And then he also helps a lot just by drawing the cards and being able to get that additional uh, special summon for your turn to your front monster from your hands. So that does help out a lot. So that's the uh, deck profile, guys. That's all the uh, all the cards. The only thing I'll add is, like I said, mentioned at the end, the only thing probably I would change up a little bit differently, or at least you know, that comes to mind the most, is Invoker. So if you're not playing com you know, competitive, you're just playing casual, guys, definitely use one Invoker. This fixes most of the issues that, that that's really with the deck. Unfortunately, it's still on the ban list because it's used in so many other decks that can really combo off very well with it as well, this deck being one of them, of course. Um, but we'll see if it ever comes off the ban list. If it does, it, it makes Six Samurais, a, not Six Samurais, uh, <laughs> uh, X Sabers a lot more, you know, a lot more, you know, competitive, and it's a lot more than gets them a little bit back. It's still not enough, of course. 
being able to use one of them, but it makes the deck a lot easier and a lot more playable, because this is, this is really the missing piece to the puzzle the deck is missing, uh, but unfortunately it's on the ban list. But yeah, if you're playing casual, it's, you know, it's perfectly fine for you to use that, you can use, you know, one copy of it. Uh, but that'll do it for this video, guys. Like, I'm, if you guys have made it to the end of the video, like always, I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys liked the deck profile and going through and breaking down the uh, X Saber deck uh, with you guys today. If you guys want to watch me use it in the live stream, you're more than welcome to join the live streams. I live stream every Sunday and Monday, and I go through and use the deck, so you're welcome to ask any questions or just any feedback or anything like that or why I have it built a certain way. Uh, you know, let me know. But hopefully the t test hand videos will you know make sense and you guys will see you. Uh, how I use the deck. Remember guys, we're still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway, so I just want to remind you of that for in the video. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed or if you haven't entered in the giveaway, make sure you go to the upper right uh, and click on the YouTube cards where it's got the little icon. Click on that. You'll see where my Gladiator Beast, uh, Gladiator Beast deck uh, profile video is. Click on it. Watch the video. I go over in that video how you guys can enter the contest. A lot of people haven't commented on that video. I think we only have like six people, six or seven people that's commented on the video. So there's only like seven people entered in the giveaway. Uh, so make sure you guys comment on that video so that way you're entered because I'm going to pull it from that specific video. Uh, but that'll do it for this video, guys. I greatly appreciate all your feedback and all your love and support. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.